Well, I was serving in Afghanistan as the command sergeant major, and we started taking mortar fire. A round landed about 10 feet from where I was standing. It actually picked me up and threw me about 30 feet and slammed me into a concrete bunker. So that ended my 27-year Army career that day. So a friend of mine knew I was having a hard time with this transition, this new life, if you will. And he called me and said, hey, I just went on this great hike with this organization called No Barriers, and this might be good for you. And when I was interviewing, I told him everything that was wrong with me. I said, I'm deaf, I have a traumatic brain injury, I have PTSD, I have a right side weakness. And they go, well, you're exactly what we're looking for. Well, today we're at a, an event here at Walnut Cove in Asheville, North Carolina. We're here to raise money for a fabulous organization called No Barriers. I, I quickly learned that they're an organization that walks their talk. You know, they're people of commitment and character and great compassion. And so I see that and it draws me into that group because that's, that's the kind of person I want to be. We started No Barriers based on this belief that people need transformative moments that remind them of their, their core purpose and remind them that despite the barriers in their way, they can get through them. This basically takes people from all walks of life and abilities and empowers them to overcome obstacles, kind of fight through adversity, most important, kind of give back to the world. One of our elements, we talk about a rope team. It's a concept taken from the mountains because you're actually roped together with the people around you when you're climbing. And we're saying, look, we are all part of the same rope team. And we've got to unite and come together because the, the similarities that we have are way more powerful and profound than the differences that we have. What's in you is stronger than what's out there. And by changing my life through no barriers, through contributions, through donorship, through sponsorships, the ripple effect is now I'm not a statistic. I'm now able to have a relationship with my family, my daughter, my husband, and now I'm able to give back.